Greetings all, it's Max and we're back and I'm going to do a quick video here. I was talking with the brother last night and we were talking about um, recent movies and, and popular culture and things like that. I'm not one of those people who goes out there and says you're going to hell if you watch a Hollywood movie or because you listen to rock music. I am just not that guy. Um, but I do have recommendations here for Christian entertainment, people who are not interested in Hollywood movies and stuff like that. And I don't think I've ever actually done a video on this, which is surprising because I've known about these people for a long time. So I just want to advertise their channel. No, I'm not getting paid for it, but they used to be on Netflix and now they started their own thing. Um, mostly run by this guy. Unfortunately, it's going to cover up his face when I put the cursor on it. Um, very low budget, solid Christian movies. So pure, pureflix.com if you want just Christian stuff to watch all the time. And I've seen a great many of these. I unfortunately cannot afford uh, Pure Flix right now. Maybe in the future, maybe in the winter time, we'll do that because it is like 30 bucks a month. But they do do a month free so you can check it out uh, what they have up there. Uh, we're going to come back to this and I'm also going to bring up the Bible mini series. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Okay. Um, of course, the whole thing was produced and it was done by a Catholic la lady. So there is some, a little bit of Catholicism stuff in there. And of course, Jesus has the long girly hair and, you know, what he probably did not look like. But it goes through the entire Bible. I mean, they're not kidding. There's, there's a movie called the Bible where they kind of cut it up and make it two hours long. Now, you want to watch the whole thing where they're, they, they go to Abraham and they're going to, to Daniel. This is the actor who's playing Daniel right here. They go through uh, Saul. They go through King David. They go through Solomon. They go through Judges. It's a great series. It's a great series. Very, very good acting. Very solid acting. And when this came out, um, it actually had more viewers than the Super Bowl when it was actually put out um, on cable. They used to have this up on um, Netflix. If you have Netflix, they probably took it down by now. The big problem with Netflix is when there's stuff up there you want to watch, it seems like every two months, every three months, every quarter, they take it down and replace it with some other garbage. So, unfortunately, that's the way it is. If you're going to buy something on DVD, buy the Bible miniseries. Ten episodes, fantastic all the way through. Fantastic all the way through. We're going to go back over here. I'm going to talk about some of the movies that I saw that are up on Pure Flix. These ones are exclusively on Pure Flix now. They did not use to be. They say they have like 8,000 uh, videos or something like that on their main page. I I don't know. Last time I looked at it, they had like 50. And I was like, well, I, I can't I can't afford 20 bucks to for 50, 50 movies. But apparently they have a lot more. I haven't looked at this until today, uh, Pure Flix, until today because of the discussion that I had uh, with the brother last night about, about entertainment and, th and things that are out there. All right? So here we are. Brother White, you're going to see this guy in a lot of these Pure Flix movies. Very good show. You know what got me into Pure Flix? The Encounter. This is where the encounter here is where Jesus runs a, um, like a, a 50s diner, sort of. And there's a storm out, and the bridge is washed out, and everybody is stuck at this diner. And Jesus is the guy who is running it. And there's people from all different walks of life in there with their own different situations. And this guy who plays Jesus is phenomenal. Okay, very, very good. Revelation Road is another really good one. What if, I love Kevin Sorbo. That's Kevin Sorbo right there. Um, I wish it wouldn't pop up like that. I kind of, anyways, Kevin Sorbo is from Minnesota, so I'm always going to follow Kevin Sorbo. Who, who doesn't love Hercules? So this is what if he um, wants to be a big time preacher. He wants to be a big time preacher and he's kind of an assistant pastor and the other, the main pastor doesn't like him. So they send him off to a failing church out in the middle of nowhere. And he actually kind of gets his stuff right. I mean, it's a really good movie. Uh, Revelation Road has three different parts. Um, pretty good, pretty good stuff. I mean, a lot of good, there's a lot of good movies on here. And obviously if they're going to do a month for free, check it out. Check it out if you want some good Christian entertainment. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you want to have on 
like the encounter. This is the kind of stuff that you want to have on um, instead of watching football on uh, uh, Thanksgiving Day. Throw the encounter on and let people play around and have it on in the background and kind of casually pay attention to it. Um, great, great stuff. So with that, I, I'm going to be out of here. Like I said, um, if people are looking for something that's good Christian entertainment, um, I, I don't actually have a, I have a television for viewing Netflix, but it's not hooked up to anything. You know, people who don't believe in TV and um, don't like Hollywood movies and stuff like that. There is, there is an alternative here with pure flicks and they do have some very good stuff they have some stuff that's not so good too because it's all low budget it's all kind of low budget stuff but there's some stuff out there that's totally worth um worth worth it to pay for for a couple of months to see if the kind of content up there if you like it or not um, like i said i'm not getting paid by pure flicks but i did want to put out something um for where people can get actual really really good uh christian movies and Christian shows. And like I said, again, buy the Bible on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, buy that. The, the mini series, the Bible movie is okay. The mini series knocks it out of the park. The 10 episodes mini series. Absolutely. Absolutely get that. And, um, like I said, I can vouch for some of these movies and, uh, maybe I'll do reviews on them. Maybe, maybe not about, um, my favorite movies that are on pure flicks. All right, with that, we're going to be out of here.